Hello, friends. It's day 34, our entrustment day to Our Lady. Thank you for being here. It's so good to see you. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to share a couple encouraging words to help you, encourage you in your entrustment to Our Lady. We're also going to link at the end of this video to our prayer of entrustment. So just as a reminder, what is this entrustment to Mary? It's more than simply a little prayer that we say and then we're done. Mm -hmm. It's an entire giving of ourselves over to our Blessed Mother, our will, our intellect, our imagination, our strengths, our weaknesses, our deeds effects, mm -hmm. our earthly attachments, mm -hmm. our entire life handed and entrusted to Our Lady mm -hmm. for what purpose? So that she in turn takes our life and presents mm -hmm. it to Jesus, mm -hmm. to Jesus through Mary. St. Louis de Montfort writes, If then we establish solid devotion to our Blessed Lady, it is only to establish more perfectly devotion to Jesus Christ and to provide an easy and secure means for finding Jesus Christ. And there's tremendous grace by going to Jesus this way because mm -hmm. Our Lady has a special relationship yep. with Jesus, mm -hmm. unlike any other saint. Mm -hmm. Our Lady gave birth to Jesus, mm -hmm. His physical body that reigns in heaven. Our Lady gave birth. She's always going to be His mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can you imagine Jesus saying no to His mom? <laughs> when she says, hey, look, here are my children. Right. Will you take them? Will you lavish your grace upon them? Will you be abundant with them as you have been abundant with me? Mm -hmm. How could Our Lady, how could Jesus say no? Mm -hmm. So friends, there's great grace when we go to mm -hmm. Jesus through Mary. Yes, torrents of grace, actually. Torrents of grace. <laughs> yeah, and as St. Louis de Montfort says, Mary is the safest, easiest, shortest, and most perfect way of approaching Jesus. I actually really do think that when we did the Marian consecration, when I actually understood more of what I was doing, I felt like everything changed from that point on. I feel like there was so much more peace. I feel like um, it was just like we were walking in the way of God. Hmm. St. Alphonsus tells us that we should have two conditions in our Marian devotions. Number one, we should be free from sin or at least wish to be free from mm -hmm. sin. So that would be our desire. Mm -hmm. We should not go into a Marian consecration or entrustment like this thinking, well, I'm just going to continue on my way and nothing's going to change in my life. Mm -hmm. No, we have to have the resolve, the goodwill to change our life, to mm -hmm. be holy through in Mary's intercession. But number two, we also have to persevere. Mm -hmm. And this is the commitment. We have want to turn away from sin and we want to persevere mm -hmm. in grace mm -hmm. through Mary's intercession. Right. And when we have these two dispositions in our entrustment to Our Lady, expect wonderful things to happen. I'd like to leave you with one final image and that is of marriage. When Janelle and I got married, there was a defining moment, okay, when we stood at the altar and we said our marriage vows. After that point, Everything changed in my life, and everything in Janelle's life changed. Mm -hmm. For example, everything about my life now was focused on serving Janelle. I was not my own anymore. Janelle was not her own anymore. But the two became one. That is the sacrament of matrimony. So for example, why do I change a diaper? Because I said I do. <laughs> why do I provide for our family and not just have my own bank account off to the side? Because I committed. I said I do. Why do I help out around the house when I don't feel like it? Well, because I committed to that when I said I do. The whole point, friends, is that everything I do in life, ideally, it should be focused at serving our marriage. Mm. That's matrimony. Entrustment to Our Lady is very similar. There can be a point in our life where we say we entrusted ourselves to Our Lady. And from that point forward, what do we do? Through an act of the, of the will, we say, Our Lady, take it all. I change this diaper, and I offer it to you. Mm -hmm. I serve my family. I offer it to you. I provide for my family. Our Lady, I offer it to you. Mm -hmm. And then she takes all that we've entrusted to her. She lavishly wins grace for us, uh, intercedes for us, and then also presents mm -hmm. us to her son. Mm -hmm. So this entrustment... It's to say, Mary, I, I'm yours. Mm -hmm. Take me. I no longer live for myself, but for mm -hmm. you, so that the purpose of my life would be ultimately fulfilling the will of God. Yeah. So it's much more than simply saying a prayer. 
It's a change of life. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong. Trust yourself to our lady. With that, mm-hmm. anything else? No. So that's it, friends. Thank you. So we will link the prayer of consecration right up there. Mm-hmm. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Thank you.